Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video with me Luvan Blichnet. Today we're talking about budget video tripods, fluid tripods. Generally a fluid head would be for video. This is the Benno KH25N and in this kit you get the fluid head with the legs. Depending on where you are in your career or freelancing career or it's a side hustle this might be a lot of money to fork out for a tripod. I remember buying this I was kind of uncomfortable because it was a lot of money. This full kit is around 5,500 Rand or 206, 200 dollars. It's not a very exciting thing to purchase. But the amount of times this has saved my ass, it's definitely worth the money. I'm not gonna dive too deep into the specs because I want to actually go out and show some footage. Um, what I wanted to include in this video is that you need to know about this tripod is the following. Yes, it's a fluid head tripod. It does have a bubble level. It has independent twist lock leg adjustments. It has rubber feet with enclosed spikes. It has a QR11 sliding plate with a one quarter inch screw. BS07 pan arm and it actually can be loosened and moved to the left or to the right. It does come with a carrying case with a strap. The pan and tilt drag is fixed. Back tilt range is about minus 80 degrees. The bowl size is 60 millimeters. It doesn't convert to a monopod. The counterbalance is fixed as well. The maximum height is around 73 centimeters, which is about 61 inches and the max payload capacity is 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. The main purpose of this video is to do actual video tests on pans and tilts and I thought it best to do the following. I'm gonna do a pan and tilt with each of these three focal ranges which is a 24mm, 100mm and a 200mm. So I think that would give you a good idea on how the tripod performs. Just to be extra hard on this tripod, I'm gonna turn off the image stabilizer on the lenses and I also won't be using any warp stabilizers on the Vinci in post. So just a disclaimer, this is my first fluid head tripod I've ever owned. So I'm unable to compare it with anything in the same price range like the Manfrotto B3 version. I've never used that so I can't compare it. Hence me doing the tests, giving you the footage so you can actually see how the tripod performs. Yes, I've used a lot of photo tripods and that's not even comparable at all as can be seen from the following footage. Okay, so let's start the testing. Here we are outside, it's a bit windy, I apologize. Just gonna do, on the 24-105, gonna do 24mm pan and a tilt, and then I'm gonna switch to 100mm, gonna pan and tilt, and then I'll do a 200 as well, just a pan and tilt, and I'm sure you'll see what the tripod is capable of. I'm on 24mm, and I have the stabilizer turned off. I'm just gonna do a light and easy pan to the left. Then we can just do a slightly quicker pan to the right. Simple scenario, someone running from this little yellow house on the left straight across into the house.
Okay, so now we're on 100 millimeters. You can see it's windy, but this tripod really handles it well. Just gonna do a slower one to the left again. one to the right we are on 200 mils now let's just do an easy pan to the left And as you are away, around 200 mils, every slight jerky movement you do will be multiplied. So yes, if there's any jerky movements in the shot, I apologize, but that's due to the operator and not the tripod. Let's do a fairly quicker one to the right now. Just for the fun of it, let's simulate someone running from that. Red flower vase again to the garage. We'll now be doing a tilt downwards. I'm just gonna let the drag take over. And then we can just do another tilt upwards. Now it's on 100 millimeters. Let's just do a tilt downwards. Gonna let the drag take over a bit. Tilt upwards. Now we can do a tilt downwards. Do a tilt upwards. Okay, we're back here in the studio. Let's talk about what do I like about this tripod. The tripod feels well built. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It's really sturdy. It can withstand strong winds. It's not heavy, it's aluminum built. I love the QR11 plate so I can just remove the camera from here and put it on my steady cam, shoot, put it back on the tripod. So that's a huge win for me. And then of course the spiked feet or rubber feet. That's also a huge bonus. So what don't I like about this tripod? Well, this is gonna sound that picky. The quick lock system works, but it's one of the things most frustrating about this tripod, especially if it's on its highest and you need to get to the other leg, make some adjustments, you can't get it level, bubble head. It's a hassle to get to the other side. 
especially in small spaces. I've been using this for a year, two years, and it's, it's just one of the most frustrating things about this. I have seen intuitive systems like Manfrotto where the lock sits at the top of all three legs. But then again, this is a budget item, so that's more, you'll see those intuitiveness more in the higher end brands or the higher end models of Benroe as well. The thing I don't quite like about this tripod is the fact that if you want to upgrade your fluid head, you have to buy a half ball to flat converter. So you can actually mount your fluid head on top of that. Then again, with the same said, you can't remove this fluid head and put it on a slider. What you can do is you can mount the slider on the fluid head, then you have the fluid motion, but then again, you'll need the fluid head for the motion on a slider. And if you wanted to go the route of putting your slider rails on the system, you can just go ahead and buy some magic arms to keep the slider rails sturdy. And that's it from me this week. So if you're in the market to purchase your first fluid head system or even just to upgrade and you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found value from this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Go out, go make it happen. I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>